Let's check in with meteorologist Scott Haney. You had that early morning weather alert. Did it just expire? It just expired. Woo 7 o'clock. Good news. We have retired the alert. Things are still wet out there. Don't get me wrong, but uh, nothing that's horrendous. Let's take you to Waterbury where it is uh, currently raining right now. You can see the roads are wet. We have some light scattered showers moving through 50 degrees in Waterbury. Here's the only live Doppler radar in Connecticut indicating a little bit of that band of rain shower activity. Again, nothing too horrendous. We do have some moderate rain coming down in Monroe, Oxford, Seymour, Easton, Reading, Naugatuck, right down Route 8. So if you're driving there, please be careful. Keep your speeds down. We'll take you on over to uh, Northeast Connecticut. The quiet corner is getting a little bit wet. Chaplin, thank you, Myrna. Appreciate the emails this morning. Right on Phoenixville Road, Pumpkin Hill Road. Uh, you've got uh, Pomfret Road in this part of the state getting a little bit wet. And there's more shower activity coming in from the south. So don't put those umbrellas too far back away. It might not be raining in your hometown right now, like uh, right here in the Connecticut River Valley. But it will be throughout now until about noontime. And that's when the rain is going to shut down. So roads are wet. Slow it down. Keep your speeds down. Visibility, not bad, considering what we've got out there. We're at five to six miles in uh, visibility. That's the worst of it. Temperatures, all right, 49 in Torrington. That's the cool spot. It is 56 degrees at Brainerd. 56 on Friday the 13th, January 13th. January 13th. We are literally... 30 to 35 degrees warmer than average and 20 to 25 degrees better than where we were yesterday. Remarkable. Now there are those winds. It is sustained out there anywhere from 13 to 17 miles an hour. So hang on to your hat and your steering wheel. And we do have some gusts out there right now to 26. Again, nothing horrendous. There's the satellite and radar confirming showers over Long Island will continue to make their way into Connecticut over the course of the next three to four hours. And then everything will shut down. You can see we're dealing with the back edge of the system right now. There is some heavy rain to the east of Connecticut. So if you are driving there, be forewarned. We're dealing with some of that moderate to heavy rain. Futurecast keeps the showers going right up until about noon. And then we should might we might even see some partial clearing by sunset a little bit later on this afternoon. And then tonight we'll be under partly to mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow the clouds hang tough as a storm off the coast. Uh, send some clouds back into the forecast for us Saturday and for Sunday. It's an offshore storm uh, that could bring some snow to the Cape and the islands, but not for us. We'll just be under mostly cloudy skies. All right, we are taking a look at the temperature trend today in the mid 50s with some showers that should all taper off by this afternoon. More of the same for the shoreline 50s and then watch, watch the numbers drop through the uh, afternoon right on into this evening. We're going to be in the upper 30s, low 40s, still some uh, upper 40s by 4 p.m. And then by midnight tonight, we're in the upper 20s, low to mid 30s. And then by tomorrow morning, we're talking about temperatures out there that are going to be rising, uh, excuse me, dropping into the upper 20s, low 30s. So here's your seven day forecast, 37 tomorrow, 38 on Sunday. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, 42, looks pretty good. 44 on Tuesday with scattered showers, mild temperatures Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, above average. The normal high for this time of year is 35 degrees. Here come your shoreline highs, equivalent to where we're headed inland. 704.